Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, I will talk about very important topic, uh, which is the characterization of the nanomaterials by using the thermogravimetric analysis and simply the TGA. And another very important calculation, which is the chemical kinetics and the thermodynamics parameter, including the activation energy, change in enthalpy, change in entropy, and change in free energy, as well as the kinetics, including the, the first order kinetics and how to calculate the, the rate constant. And this all I will explain by using the uh, thermogravimetric data. And let's start the discussion. And let me share with you the video. This is the, uh, the paper we have uh, already published uh, before, and uh, I will use uh, this as a reference to explain how to characterize the nanomaterials and uh, how to calculate the kinetic and the thermodynamic parameter. And for your reference, if you want to study more, this is the paper uh, published in this journal, so let the title of this and uh, everything is explained in this paper. And this is the year and the volume page number you can download from the internet. So moving to the TGA. This is the, the uh, first graph, uh, the basic data for the TGA DSC curve of our uncalcined sample, uh, uh, which is the cerium. OH4, silicon oxide, and water molecule. We have taken as this as the base material to characterize uh, uh, this material as well as to calculate the thermodynamics and the kinetic parameter. So the first, uh, have a look uh, on this uh, uh, data. This is the TGA curve and this is the DSC curve. Actually, I will talk about the TGA curve. So there is the weight loss with the change in temperature. That is the, the data for the thermogravimetric analysis. And there are the, the, the three weight loss over here we have taken as a reference. And let's start first the characterization of your this material by using the TGA. So in this, the starting the temperature with the uh, around 50 to it is uh, 250 there is a weight loss of 5.81 and which is going to uh, confirm you the removal of the two water molecules and this you can easily calculate actually why there are the two water molecules uh, over here this is the data which is uh, presented over here the first weight loss is 50 to 50 degree centigrade and uh, uh, having the weight loss of 5.81. And if you take this as uh, uh, the molecule, uh, because we use, uh, uh, we synthesize the cerium oxide, silicon oxide uh, nanoparticles in the presence of the surfactant and the surfactant, surfactant is SP312. Uh, SP312 is having a molecular weight of 335.55. And uh, this molecule we have taken as a, a base material, cerium uh, uh, tetrahydroxides, silicon dioxide, and the water. And this is having the uh, molecular weight uh, uh, around uh, 286. And the total weight is 621.7 or around 620. So that means if you want to calculate what type of the molecules are releasing uh, the, the weight loss of 5.81. That means this is the percent weight loss. You have to multiply by the total molecular weight. And so if you multiply the uh, 5.81 multiplied by 621 uh, or 621.7 and uh, divided by the 100, you will get the value around 36. So 36 is the the molecular weight of the two water molecules because one molecule is having 
18 and the total uh, uh, 36 stands for the removal of two water molecules. So in this way, you can calculate the weight loss uh, uh, and uh, you can calculate and identify which molecules are uh, removing from the, the other weight loss, the second phase and the third phase. So with this, we have identified that if there is a 5.81 weight loss from 250 to 50 degrees centigrade, then there is the removal of the two water molecules and this process is called the dehydration. So the water molecule absorbed on the surface of the silicon dioxide is being removed and that will give you this weight loss due to the removal of the two water molecules. Uh, similarly, this is due to the removal of C2H4 for this, uh, from the second phase and this is the, the surfactant molecules due to the surfactant molecules and the third phase plot, uh, loss is 350 to 570 uh, which is giving into this total weight loss and this is also due to the, the removal of the water and this is due to the condensation process because here the cerium hydroxide is converted into the cerium oxide and this process is called the condensation. So this is the first phase that means you can characterize your uh, nanomaterials uh, by using the thermocarbonatic analysis.